there guys, it's Carly. Welcome back to my channel or hello if you are new here. In today's video, we are getting our speed cleaning on and I'm doing another top to bottom whole house weekly cleaning routine. And I've got to say, I have been absolutely enjoying the cleaning lately and particularly making my cleaning or get it all done with me videos. If you're new to this channel, I love making cleaning videos, organization, productivity, local travel and slow living. So that is the vibe around here. If you're not subscribed already, I would love you to do so. But cleaning videos are definitely one of my favorites. I feel a lot of of joy from cleaning and I love being able to see the product of your hard work and just feel proud of just how beautiful you've created your space. For me, cleaning is also a way to support my mental health and kind of almost like a form of therapy. If you're not aware, my nine to five or my full-time job is actually as a high school English teacher. And I do have a few videos on my channel if you check out the study with me teacher tips playlist about uh, how to become a teacher in Australia, particularly in New South Wales, the state that I live in, and a few come to school with me videos. But I am strategically trying to move away from creating those videos because I don't want this space to be about my teaching career. I want it to actually be about some of the things in my personal life that lift me up and bring me joy. And cleaning is one of those things. Last year, I had an incredibly stressful year when it comes to work. And this year, I've got a lot going on in my personal life. So work is quite full on at the moment as well. And I have a lot of people commenting on those videos. How do I become a teacher in Australia? And asking me questions about those things. And not to sound like a Debbie Downer, but my honest advice to people would be don't. I've had some fantastic experiences in the education industry. I've met some wonderful people, some wonderful students. I've had some great success stories with them and it's fantastic being able to see them once they've graduated and they're off doing their own thing and traveling and working and meeting new friends and doing new things. It's great to see those success stories. But for me personally, I've had so many more stressful or negative moments that has kind of counteracted uh, all of the good things that have happened, to be honest. So I do tend to use this YouTube space as a way for me to kind of uh, process all of those those stresses and those thoughts and feelings and cleaning, reading, traveling are some ways that I like to do that. So if you were hoping for some more teaching content, I am so sorry, but if you do want to see some more cleaning or organization videos, I would love for you to leave some suggestions down in the comments below. Today I'm doing some of my usual cleaning routines and chores such as changing the bed and then wiping down all of the elements of the kitchen. But I'm also doing a few deep clean moments as well, such as taking everything out of this cupboard here and giving it a good wipe down. I just noticed some crumbs and I knew that I needed to get in the nooks and crannies and give it a good clean. I probably need to subsequently wipe out all of the other cupboards as well, but that will be a job for another time. However, I did decide to do this kind of pantry drawer of sorts because I wanted to take out one of the bamboo trays that I had in there and put it in my utensil drawer. So I figured that was a perfect opportunity to take everything out, give it a good wipe down, a rearrange, chuck out anything that had expired and just make it look all nice and organized. Whenever we finished one of our instant coffees, I do like to wash out and save the glass jar. So I have a little bit of a storage of those piled up in one of my cupboards. So what I might actually do is go back through that pantry drawer and just start putting some of the bits of food items that I've got in plastic actually in those glass just so I can see what's there and how much I've got of each. 
I also rearranged that cutlery drawer and now the final thing I'm doing in the kitchen is going to be putting some lemongrass essential oils in the sinks to give it a nice fresh smell and then putting on the dishwasher. After that, it'll be time for me to move on to the other rooms in the house. So obviously I'm going to go through all of those rooms and give everything a good dust down. And then I'm also going to get my long green dusting element and go around and wipe down all of the skirting timbers and the window sills as well. Alright, dusting is done and now I'm on to my least favourite job in the house and that is cleaning the bathrooms. I'm not exactly sure why I don't like this job, it's not like it's particularly hard. Other than cleaning the shower and the bath, I find that to be hard. This one's quite easy, I just don't particularly like doing it. But I am going to be using my exit mould today and I've got my gloves on so I'm spraying that around the vanity and I'm also going to be spraying it in the bath and shower as well. It does have a pretty toxic kind of smell to it so I don't like to use it too often but every now and then you do need to get in and give things a really good clean. I do like to let the exit mold kind of bask in the shower slash bath for a while there. So while it is percolating and doing its thing, I'm going to go around the rest of the house and then give it a good vacuum. And after that's done, I will head out and vacuum the laundry also. The laundry was kind of looking a little bit worse for wear, so I did decide to take most of the things out of it so I could get in the nooks and crannies and give that a good vacuum and while I'm out there I will also load up the washing that just finished and then fill up the mop bucket so I can go in and mop the house as well. something I could use A cure for the air condition Could you use some too Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's cleaning motivation video. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. With that being said, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your week and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.